Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am just going to be filming a thrift with me. I feel like I've been really busy with a lot of projects at our businesses and at our house and we've been working on our garden which I'll show you that soon too. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do like a casual laid back thrift with me where I'm looking for really anything for my house or my garden, even clothing maybe, just kind of looking for anything that's like spring and fresh. Um, I'm already at the first Goodwill. I think I'm gonna go to another thrift store and then maybe the bins too, because I haven't been there in probably like a month. So yeah, we'll see.
Hey guys, so I am back from thrifting and I'm going to be doing my thrift haul for you. I found a kind of just like a mixture of stuff. Some, um, sorry about the dust flying in the air and my dogs are in the background. If they bark, I'm sorry. Um, I found like a mixture of home decor, some linens, just a whole bunch of random stuff. So we'll start with the biggest item first and then we'll kind of go from there. First thing I wanted to show you guys was this lamp that I got. Um, and I'm obsessed with this pleated style lampshade. I'm thinking of trying to cover it with a fabric or something like that, or like a paper. I've seen people do that on Instagram, so I might try and do that. Um, and I also really, really like the base. This whole thing was $5 from Goodwill. It's like a kind of like a ceramic antique base and it's just really pretty. I love anything that's like a plain white ceramic. Um, I think it just has a really nice look to it. The next thing is kind of poking out right here. Uh, I found this at Goodwill for like $3 and it's this roll of what looks to be like a vintage upholstery fabric. Um, it's kind of like a cream and then this tan color. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I mean, I could recover something with it. I could just use the entire piece of fabric as like a tablecloth or um, something like that. So not exactly sure what I'll do with it. I love the texture of it though. It has almost this like little extra texture part right there, but really, really excited to find this. I love finding fabric at the thrift store because it's, um, what next? So kind of in the same fabric vein, in the same vein, I have thrifted this. Um, I think it's actually a sheet, a vintage sheet. I think it's so pretty though. I love the colors. I love the floral pattern. And this is another thing where I could use it to recover something. I could use it as a tablecloth. Sorry, it's like making dust fly everywhere. It's green fabric, which is a tiny, tiny little ditzy floral print that I think is so sweet. And it's kind of like a greenish hue in the back with like little green flowers. Um, same thing, it's not as big of a piece of fabric, so we'll probably just use it like to recover something, maybe make napkins out of or something like that. Um, and then I actually did get a few pieces of clothing. I haven't thrifted clothing in a really long time just because I have so much clothing. I don't really need anything else. I thrifted this little sweatshirt that says uh, Martha's Vineyard. It's definitely vintage. It's like this adorable baby blue color and it's kind of like in a terry cloth material. This is so cute. I think I'm going to take this to the beach with me because it's just so adorable. I don't know what this is. Like it's an in with a bird. I don't know what, like, I don't know if it's like a sports team or if it's like a place. Um, this was $1 and then this other hat was $1. And this one says <laughs> Hillsville Diner since 1946. I just love hats like this that are like old small town, like random places. I just think they're adorable. So I got both of those. And then this, I'm going to the beach next week. So all of these are kind of like, finds that I'll use at the beach. Um, I thrifted this Daytona bag. It's like a clear um, tote. And I think I'm definitely going to use this for the beach as well. I'm just gonna take it, throw my stuff in it. It's a great option for that. So I was really excited to find this. And I think it was like $2 as well. Um, okay, now on to more home decor. One of the things that I thrifted that I'm super excited about is this antique ironstone platter. This is $4, which I feel like is a good deal. Um, it has some staining, as you can see. It has like discoloration in a few spots, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it has a beautiful, two beautiful stamps actually on the back, which I'll show you. Um, so it has this one, which is like an inked stamp. And then this, which is more of like ingrained into the actual stoneware has like a little bit of like a French writing maybe. Um, and then if you flip it over, it has these little details too, like little tiny floral details. And that's rare that you would find a piece of ironstone that has those extra details on it. Same 
kind of like ironstone theme. I got these four little ironstone teacups. They're so freaking cute. I'll put those up there. <laughs> um, they don't have any stamps on the bottom. I'm sure they were part of a larger set originally. And they have a little detailing. You can kind of see. And it definitely looks like they used to have maybe some sort of um, gold like leaf around the top edge or like some sort of detail there that's gotten kind of just scrubbed off over time um, from washing. But I love these. I love how detailed the handles are. I think they're really, really sweet. And I loved that there were four of them. I'm always collecting more things like this, so I was very happy with these guys. I thrifted, um, then I thrifted two books. I only got two books. This one, which I think I already have a copy of this, but I love this. Um, it's a Reader's Digest, and it's the editions where they made them all have these really pretty covers. And I'm obsessed with this one. I just think it's so pretty. It's like a gold, a red, and a blue. And I just love it. Those are like my favorite colors, so perfect. And then this was really special. I could not believe that I found this. I found this at the bin, so it was like 25 cents. And it's this really old vintage um, copy of Winnie the Pooh. It's hardcover. And it was definitely from a local library because you can see they wrote discard on it, which I'm not sure why. Maybe because it had gotten stained. It definitely has like some writing in it and some staining in it and stuff like that, but I still think it's just as special. I'm obsessed with it. Winnie, this is like, Winnie the Pooh was my favorite Disney movie growing up, printed in the 50s or 60s. So really, really special. I would love to use this in like a nursery one day, but even just for myself, I love it. Um, another random piece of fabric. This one is like a weird, long, skinny, piece of linen. Um, it's kind of this French red striped white and red linen. It would be a great table runner. You could cut it up and use it. A few more things. This guy, um, which was like $2 from Goodwill. I know the tag has fallen off, but I thought this would be so cute to put like napkins in or um, I don't know, menus. Maybe I'll take it to shop and we can put our menus in it. There's got to be another purpose for it. Maybe it is a napkin holder. I don't know if you guys have another idea of what this could be actually, what could the purpose be of this? Um, let me know because all I can really think for is to like stack something in it. Maybe it's like a toast holder. Is that a thing? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This one's still wrapped up. I thrifted this guy, um, classic blue and white, so pretty. It was $2 um, from a thrift store that we have here locally. And I think it's like the blue willow pattern, um, but it's definitely like an older version of that. It has a lot of crackling. It has this little um, stamp on the back that says Japan which makes me think that this is like an original from Japan and not a recreation, which is what you kind of see a lot of these days. So I love this for like a serving bowl or something like that. And then last but not least, I thrifted this basket. Now it has a little bit of a hole right here and like it's not in great shape, but I really, really loved the size and the shape of it. And I'm not gonna be using it for like actually carrying stuff, more of just decor. It was 50 cents at Goodwill and I just think it is really pretty. Um, and so that's why I got it <laughs> and it was so cheap and I'm just gonna use it as decor somewhere in my house. I'm not actually gonna carry stuff in it. Okay guys, that is the end of my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time thrifting with me and seeing all of my finds. Um, if you like thrifting videos, home decor videos, um, types of videos like that make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can see every time i post a new video i'm so glad you're here and i love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye